Jose Carranza, I'm a freshman from Norfolk Senior High. The title of my poem is My Childhood. It has been 11 years. I'm standing here with my mom in a big empty field, the place where that big red house used to stand. 11 years later, and that's all that's left to symbolize it, an empty field. All of those nightmarish memories rush back to me. I check my clothes for the stench of smoke. I feel my cheek for the sting of pain, where my dad's hand fell upon it with the force of a truck so many times. I know I shouldn't be scared. It's gone. The big red house has turned to dust. When you think about the perfect childhood, do you think of the basin full of drugs? Well, mine was never the perfect, happily married Christian couple. The five kids, three girls, two boys, and a golden retriever named Buddy. Life became real really fast. When I think about mine, I remember the horrid smell of spilled stale alcohol and the stench, no, the reek of beer coming from my dad's mouth as he screamed at me, you were a mistake. The chemical-like stench of crystal meth cooking in the basement, the marijuana lingering in my clothes, the screams filling the house. Ya no mas, papi no les pegues, papi por favor, ya no me pegues, perdón, aparale. But that's just it. He didn't stop hitting us, even after my mom asked him not to, even after I said I was sorry for nothing that I did. It never stopped. I was asleep, just a small child of four years old, dreaming of child's things like presents and candy. That's when the first shot rang, the sound of the bullet piercing the wood in my childhood. I awoke in shock, wondering what was happening. I yelled for my mom, Mommy, Mommy, ayúdame, but she couldn't help me. My mom ran from my room in fear of losing her youngest son. Luckily, neither of us was hurt. We found out that police had come that day to arrest my dad. The police officers stopped the shooting but continued the torture. They forced us to use the same bathroom at the same time. Even after all that, I knew I had shame in my little heart because of the fact that they would take the violent monster away. Mi papá. My dad. 11 years later, I'm standing here with my mom in a big empty field. The big red house is flattened out. They brought a big yellow bulldozer and tore it down chunk by chunk and along with every inch of wood, every piece of my childhood. Penny Trace, gone. My childhood, gone.